Hello and welcome to another episode of GMG News. So today I've got a pack of Sun and Moon Pokemon trading cards. Um, you need to be six years and above in order to play this game. I've already unboxed these cards. I haven't used the code, so obviously the first person that um, redeems the online code for the one booster pack that you get for the Pokemon trading card game online needs to comment down below in the comment section and let everyone know because otherwise people will be trying to redeem a void code. So I'll just very quickly get into this. If you want to find out any more information about Pokemon, please go to www.pokemon.com um, and you'll be able to find out more information about Pokemon and all the new and, up and coming games, uh, merchandise, events and whatnot. So we're just very quickly going to get into this. So off the bat we have a Litten, which is a fire Pokemon with... 70 health points, two attacks, one of bite which does 10 and the other of flare which does 20. We then got a generation one Pokemon, really like how this is, um, this like image is put onto here. I think this was, hmm, I think that must, that must have been painted and then they've just like obviously printed the image onto here. Um, that is really cool. Uh, 70 health points, water type Pokemon, one attack of Confusion Wave. And that's pretty cool because uh, Generation 1 was around about 20 years ago now. Uh, also, we have a Bond Suite. I've already got one of these. This is a level 60 grass type Pokemon or leaf type Pokemon with two attacks, one of Sweet Scent and the other of Splash, which does 10. We've got a Lillipup. Lillipup is actually quite a good Pokemon. When I had Pokemon Moon, um, if you train your Lillipup, it can be very useful. Uh, two attacks, one of Bite, which does 20, and another, which is Work Up. 60 health points. We then got a Dratini, um, which is a Generation 1 Pokemon. Really cool looking Pokemon. Like how this is drawn, looked like it was water paint. Um, also, this card looks slightly different, like it kind of looks like it's like an underwater sort of glare. Um, I don't know if you know what I mean. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Two attacks, one of Signs of Evolution, the other of Tail Smack, which does 10. Um, 60 health points. We got a Shiny Poliwhirl. This is actually my second Shiny Poliwhirl. Um, 90 health points, which is a Generation 1 type Pokemon, which is in its Stage 2. Um, because there's Poliwag and then it becomes Poliwhirl. This is its previous evolution. I also have this card as well. Um, two attacks, one of Double Slap, which does 30 times. Um, and the other attack, which is Wave Splash, which is 70. I really like how this card looks for a shiny. Um, just going to put this one up here. We then have Ultra Ball, which is a trainer card. Discard two cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it onto your hand, then shuffle your deck. Then we have uh, another trainer card, which is a supporter card. Um, this is Team Skull Grunts. These are like generic Pokemon players that you'll encounter in Sun and Moon. Um, they're not normally very skilled until obviously you get higher up in levels and then they obviously get higher up in levels to um, accommodate the level that you're at. Like normally a couple of levels below or maybe above. Your opponent reveals their hand, discard two energy cards from, from it. You may play only one supporter card during your turn before your attack. We then got a Pinsir, which is a Generation 1 Pokemon card. I never remember it having this many health points. It's 110 health points. Um, two attacks, one of Roof Fling and one of Guillotine, um, which I essentially think is when it will try to cut your head off. Um, 50 health points, Grass-type Pokemon. Really cool-looking design. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to put that one down. Then we have a generic energy water card, which is useful, but, you know, no one's really happy when they get one of these. Uh, we then got the Toe Cannon. Really cool looking Pokemon. Um, pretty much just looks like a bird. If you know what bird that this bird is supposed to look like, please let me know. I know, but I want to see if you do. This is in its second stage. Um, not seen any previous e pre um, pre evolutions of this. I didn't have Pokemon Sun, sorry, Pokemon Moon for a very long time. I only had it for a couple of weeks. Um, two attacks: one of Echoed Voice, which does sixty; the other of Beak Blast, which does a hundred. Hundred and forty health points, so pretty powerful card. 
and if you have stuck around until the end of the video you'll be lucky enough to get this car which i um this code which i'm going to reveal to you now to unlock 10 additional cards to play and complete online in the pokemon trading card online game um so i'm just going to reveal the card to you and like i said once you download the code please let us know in the comment section below because obviously people will be trying to redeem a code that has been redeemed so it would then be void so only one person can redeem this code once it's been redeemed then it's obsolete so the code is 7MN9NJP7YCKC2. That's seven. Let me just hold this up a bit clearer. 7MN9NP7YCKC2. Um, just pause the video if you want to try and get the code or scan this little bad boy here. Um, so if you go to www.pokemon.com forward slash redeem, you'll be able to redeem this code. Like I said, once it's redeemed, it is then done. So thank you for watching another episode of GMG News. Thank you for my friend for filming and have a good day.